Hello and welcome to Hand of Fate. You have passed the thirteen gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. So, for a little while, I'm going to be taking a break from Game Fallout 3, begins. because, um, one lives and one dies. I want to, um, improve upon my skills at combat in that game, because it's kind of boring right now, and I don't think it's a very good series if I'm just dying or coming close to dying the whole time. So I'm going to put that one on pause and in its place I'm going to be doing this series until until this one is over and then when that, this one is over I will resume where we left off in Fallout. Or maybe we start over. It depends. And I Let's really like this game. I reset my project progress so we can play here is the first member of my court the jack of dust 12 in all must fall before you may challenge me all right jack of dust the basic first boss i like this part magic cards there's not really that many cards fall where they may we begin. The Maiden. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? I have our Marty Max health. I will ask for supplies. Because food runs out quick. And that's the way you often will die, starving to death. 15. That's really good. Here. Master Lionel. I'm a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. If the narrator starts talking, I'll let him talk. Because he's kind of witty about his dialogue. Whilst enjoying your meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wise, was, was it wizened or wizened? I never know. That's a weird, a word that in books I just kind of pass over. I know what it means, but it doesn't. I don't know how to say it or anything like that. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness my name is master lionel if you give me what i need boy i will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation he cackles uncontrollably for a few moments then sits patiently waiting for your answer you may hear my cat in the background he's doing his thing where he just meows um Let's see. Uh, give him, uh, give him the bread from your plate. He considers the bread seriously before placing it in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Master Lionel taps his staff on the ground, and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. All right. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks. That using is good. Your shield. Make good Twisted Canyon. Wish to survive. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines perfect for climbing. Well, let's go get it. 
Alright. Alright, this one. I, I watched them. Very carefully, you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one weapon card. We got a normal sword. We already have a sword. Oh wait, no, we have a rusty axe. Okay, this is a fine. Moment to save her. I think that, that allows us to... Um, more effective. I think that one allows us to parry. Or to see incoming attacks or something. I don't know. You haven't even seen the combat yet. You have discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. You're on the final floor of our simple map. A your winding trail. Waits here for you. Find him. If you defeat me, well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. A three of dust. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. The wielder's face is obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold, or die. And uh, let's attack him. You shout the battle cry and raise your weapon. And now here is the combat, which I like. Hopefully it's either not too laggy or... Hopefully I'm not too bad. I always skip over this part because it's kind of a little bit boring, but I'll wait. Because it looks cool. Alright. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. A three Y when you see the flashing in. Alright. Bam. Bam. Alright, so the green the green like horizon or uh, sorry heat line looking things that's counter so whenever those appear I press Y and that counters or I can just press X and that will automatically attack and if you do attack right um, it will counter them it's just not automatic and then there's also if there's red heat lines above them or red lines above them that means that you can't counter that attack and the way you deal with that is you press A to roll. So you search the bodies for loot. The dealer draws three, three gain cards. Of course, gain cards are good. Explorer's helmet. A small late to reveals, but still. Reveals stairs encounter upon entering a level. Grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. That's good. That will let us choose to either focus and head straight for the stairs or get extra gold oh wait but this this is the last level in this like pre game tutorial uh, I don't think we'll have enough money for that so we're passing it by dead man's gorge I'm sure it's not called dead man's gorge without reason while crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Draw one monster card. Three of dust again. Let's not take damage so that we can then fight the Jack of Dust without. Bam, bam, bam. This game looks really awesome. I like how you can see my helmet, I look like a conquistador. I always ruin my uh, my combos by doing that. And combat is done. I, I always swing at somebody after they're dead and then I lose my combo. And that was kind of just bad. You recover what you can from the dead. One equipment, an axe. A peasant's weapon. 
but effective does numbers. two more d two more damage than our sword somehow. Some food, forty gold. All right, we're, let's go back to this main shop. See if we can check that out. Made you sell only specific items. Blah blah blah. Yeah, mage, mage related items, of course. Probably artifacts. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. I see. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. All right, so we've got Hernie's antlers, Hearn's antlers, maybe. Um, there's no lizardmen yet. Hags wraps. Uh, each strike inflicts a curse. That one sounds really good. Well, I'll, no, we're not gonna get all dragon relics yet. Uh, right bumper. I'm not gonna buy that yet because I'm not very good at using those. So I'll buy that, that one. Kill them, you'll curse them too. So now we have a thing that slows and does something else to each enemy. Let me make sure I have that equipped. Uh, select. You can always review your cards. Um, yeah. it is a gauntlet. All right, we've got it. Good. And here's the Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Alright. And those little coins that you picked up, those unlock. They unlock new cards if you complete the encounter. You don't have to win that one game, but as long as you complete that encounter, you get those cards. And those will unlock new cards, which probably will unlock new cards. And so on. Some of them are only encounter cards. Alright, here you'll see... Soon you'll see... See that? I have to dodge out of the way whenever that guy... Whenever he attacks, pretty much. Why? Bam. So my goal is to defeat this guy. That's pretty much my only goal. But to do that, we have to make sure we dodge all of his special attacks. And we almost got him. Oops. Sometimes you just don't notice things like that. They'll sneak up behind you and you have to press it. Or if you press it at the most opportune time. There we go, we beat him. If you press it at the most opportune time, you can get more hits on the first person before you switch to the next one. Which is good. Down and now we get these cards. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. That's our collection. Each of those are a um, Yet we are only at the start of our It's like a campaign. You will mission. face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Let's see what we got. We got Jack of Skulls, Dead King's Hall, and you have won. Local peasant, Devil's Choice, River, Captains of the Guard. So do I. Balance must and we got this one. Pew. These are weapons cards. We got medium armor, chains of rage, mercenary contract, medium armor, more medium armor. Because each one of these is an actual card. So if you have multiple in a deck, you get more. You get more likely to have that card show up. And we got desperate measures, which is a hammer. And we got one more. This one only has three. We have a bandit attack, maze of traps, and goblins. The little gold coins at the bottom of them means that that will, um, that means that it will unlock new cards whenever you beat it. Um, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be doing more of these. One game per video. 
and then maybe after we beat the main storyline I'll do some endless we'll see how it goes but thank you for watching like comment and subscribe if you like to and goodbye